everyone welcome to part 61 of laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e-commerce website so we are going to continue working on the home page and in this video we are going to make discounter products online at the home page we are going to show the discounter products at home page in random order okay so once again we are going to work on the home page and in the last few videos we have seen the new level products from the only panel then the best seller products from the only panel and now is the time to update the discounter products you can see the static products here in discounter tab as well as in feature products you can see the static products are coming still in discounter and feature tabs but we are going to make them dynamic okay so in this video we are going to show discounter products dynamically from the admin panel and we are going to show those products that is having the product discount okay so i'm going to log in and uh, we'll show you that uh, which products we are going to show as the uh, product discount that is having the product discount like uh, the products uh, in the catalog these products and if we will see the product discount like if i'm going to edit this one and we are going to see that this product is having the product discount or not this is having the product discount 10 percent okay so we are going to show all those products that is having some kind of product discount means greater than zero so this condition we are going to add in our query that greater than zero product discount must be greater than zero and if we are going to check in product table as well we're going to see here the product discount column as well okay so product discount must be greater than zero so it means the product is having some discount okay so we are going to show all those products here that is having the product discount in the discounter product section we are not going to show the categories uh, because it will make the things more complex uh, by showing both the products and category discount uh, but in uh, near future we are going to uh, add this one as well but right now we are going to show only the uh, products that is having the product discount and that also randomly okay so before doing this thing uh, we are going to resolve one issue that we are facing in the admin panel one of my friend one of my student told me about that issue so that is uh, we need to resolve every issue if we face anywhere and this issue is in our brands or we can say that every module we are having one issue and that is issue with the read functionality like if i will add more brands here uh, i'm going to add some test brands submit okay because i'm going to remove and one more brand i'm going to add here and i'm going to make it like abc brand summit once again okay so you can see it will come uh in paging no one more i'm going to add here okay anything xyz okay so this brand i will also add i'm going to see the paging is coming now you can see the paging is now coming at the bottom and i will go to the second page and will try to delete this one see it is not working you can see it and it is showing the error in console we are going to check this error okay i'm going to make it empty uh, okay network yeah fine and this one uh, is it showing any error no is it not it is not showing here we are going to test here see it is also not showing any error so it means that it is not working at all we are going to update the jquery for it we are going to check that what is the issue exactly so what my friend uh, that is the lamb t Daniel helps me to resolve this issue he identify this issue and uh, and this is a really good thing if someone uh, identify such a good issue so that uh, we can resolve and we need to make our website error free so thanks to lamb t Daniel okay uh, for identify this issue and uh, so for this one I am going to open my custom.js file to resolve this issue. Custom.js file that is located in admin.js. And here I am going to open that lead, uh, confirmed lead function. And here see, we have directly given that confirmed lead click function. But we need to change it to the document on click. And if you remember the advanced e-commerce series, there also we have updated. Okay. So many of my friends who are following, uh, who have also followed that advanced e-commerce series in Laravel 6, 7, 8 must know about this thing. And this time also I have done this silly mistake. Okay, don't do this silly mistake at your end. 
we can fix it by just updating this one i am going to remove the first one so don't worry i am just uh, adding like uh, i will not miss something on click okay document on click and after that the function will come and the function uh, that uh, event event name is this uh, class uh, class uh, name will come uh, class uh, okay confirmed it is our class okay so that's why we are using the dot in front of our class name and after that we are going to use the function okay like this and yeah okay so this one we can remove so this is uh, the script uh, we can uh, replace sorry this one is required and now we can remove the earlier one and now we can try i'm going to save it and refresh it in our admin panel and i'm going to the next page now and let's see if i can able to remove this one i'm going to click on delete and this time the functionality is working fine you can see these our sweat alert functionality that we have done with our uh, delete uh, common confirmed delete. we have the common confirmed delete function for all the modules in which we have also embedded our sweet alert okay uh, so it is working fine you can see if i'm going to try to uh, delete it is showing that yes do you want to delete it or it is showing the cancel if you will click on cancel then it will not delete and if we are going to click on yes delete it then it will delete this one okay so it is finally deleted okay so it is working fine so i can remove all the unwanted uh, brands okay so that's fine and i can also make uh, in brands auto increment so that uh, it will start from the 10th id next time okay so now we have resolved the issue now the delete functionality will work fine in all the modules with the data table even if the if even if you will go to the second page of any of the module okay so this issue draw this issue at your end and if you will still face issue then you can surely contact me okay so now uh, we are going to add we are going to update our index function for the discounter products that we want to show all the products that is having some uh, uh, some discount so we are going to check in our products table and we are going to check the product discount here is the column you can see one two three four five only five products we have added so far and four of the products are on the product discount only one product is does not have the product discount so four products uh, we are going to show here randomly okay so for that uh, we need to update the index function index uh, function in the index controller okay here this is the page i'm okay we are going to open and now uh, see same like best sellers uh, we are going to make now discounted products discounted products variable okay so now uh, we are going to pick the products from the product model means products table uh, where we are going to add the condition where product discount must be greater than zero okay so every product must be having the product discount that we want to show they are in the discounter products tab discount products uh, uh, section of the home page so it must be greater than zero fine and where status must be one And after that uh, limit uh, also we can set you want to show the six products only six products we are going to show you can show eight as well ten as well it's your wish and we are going to show in a random order once again and then get ten to edit okay so we are going to check first that whether the products are coming it is showing these four products we are going to see okay so it is coming so four products are coming the all these four products having some product discount you can check here verify here product discount 20 product discount 10 product, product discount 10 and product discount 10 okay see here okay for all we are having some kind of product discount okay so only those products we are fetching that is having some kind of product discount so this one we are going to return to our blade file 
to the index blade file this counter press okay so we are going to open that index blade file here we are going to add uh, okay best sellers and after best seller this is the module for the product discount so we can simply copy this one to save our time i am going to copy this one and i'm going to replace this one uh, with that one okay then just we need to update these best sellers with the discounter products that is the only thing that we are going to do rest will remain the same i'm going to refresh it and we'll see here discounter products you can see the discounter products are coming here okay so all these products is having the product discount okay so we are showing all the products and also randomly so every time if you are going to refresh uh, its sequence will change okay you can see the mobile comes at the second place now again i am going to refresh see mobile this time in second place now see where it comes it still comes in second place it must come in some other place this time it is coming in third place okay so it is coming randomly when we have the more products then it will show the more options here we have just added the five products so the same products are coming again and again okay so uh, i am going to remove the discount from one of the products i'm going to see like if i'm going to remove the discount from uh, this uh, uh, product that is redmi note 11 then it is going to show it or not okay so i'm going to check this one i'm going to edit this one I will remove the discount I will make it zero submit and let's see now I'm going to refresh now mobile must not be there and you can see only three products it is showing mobile is not on the discount only discounter products uh, that is having the product discount some kind of product discount okay that is we are showing uh, there okay so now uh, I hope that it is clear so we are going to show only the products that is having some kind of discount again once again i'm going to add the 10 percent discount on the mobile and it will show here once again okay you can see it is showing again okay so in next video we are going to show the feature products at the home page okay and that also will come from the admin panel so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye